Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Lucy here, and in today's video, we're going to do a haul. It's a very interesting haul. If you're interested in watching, then stay tuned. One of my favorite things to do with my mom, just in general, is to shop because I feel like my mom is probably one of the one people, one person in my life that understands the way that I shop because it's like, you go that way, I go this way, and we all just mind our business and come back and be like, what'd you find? I don't like to go shopping with people in general. I'm talking about food, I'm talking about clothing, anything. I prefer to sort of window shop by myself, online, brick and mortar, all that by myself because I need to like look, I like to observe, I like to touch. I need to have my own like experience with whatever item I'm looking for or not looking for or need to discover or whatever. And being rushed is just not my jam. Like I need to see everything. My mom actually took me to Sam's and one of my favorite things to buy is this um, vitamin. This is the hair, skin, and nails gummies with biotin. It has 250 micrograms um, per serving for skin and hair nutrients. This is from Nature's Bounty, which um, I think is one of the few companies that is FDA regulated. So it's one of my favorites. I do like a gummy for these kind of things. I do take an everyday women's. Um, I'll show you guys. Speaking of energy, so this is the Centrum Silver. This is really for like older people, but I prefer it's heart healthy, brain healthy, eye healthy, and whole body health. There are 325 tablets in it. My mom gets these at Sam's or sometimes Costco's. I also got a BJ's card for Christmas, twelve dollars there, and this is a 220, so this should last me about probably like four months. Um, I got two of these just so that I don't have to ask my mom to buy them for, again because I know in like Walgreens and CVS this is probably like 20 bucks maybe even more but they also don't go up to 220 um, gummies and I just like the value size because um, but these boots I got for $24 the only thing is I don't like that the string is coming out but this is like super trendy it's nice it's very comfortable it's got like this cushion inside but they're super duper comfy I feel like this will probably be a cute outfit to wear with this shirt that I have on right now but I got these these were on sale. It was funny because I looked at the, um, I gotta clean those. I looked in the shoe, the shoe section. I wear between 11 and 12. Some shoes I need 11 and a half and I'm perfect. Some are 11. These are 11 and my toes fit perfectly, especially since they're round. I got was this Spa Scriptions Radiance Booster Hyaluronic Glacier Water and Glycolic Acid. It's a facial mist. Um, I got it because I like the ingredients. Um, and this was also on sale for like $3.50. I feel like you can really get some really interesting items at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. The place that I went to was a Marshalls connected to a um a Marshalls connected to a Home Goods. And I didn't get anything in the home goods section just because I wasn't about to travel with like home items. But I know my mom bought some sheets for like ten or twelve dollars, and they were like, I want to say four hundred count, something like that. But I really like this um, mist because it. The, when I first got it, I, I tried it on when I was in Florida, and the powder was looking kind of patchy. And I sprayed it and I waited for it to dry. Turn the fan on over there, and it really like set my makeup and made it look like really. I don't know. I feel like it made it look like really lushy, and so I like that it doesn't like dry me out, but it also doesn't. Um, oh, bitch! This is for exfoliating. For brightening skin, so maybe I shouldn't be using this on my makeup. The last item that I got at Marshalls slash Home Goods was this Sweet Dreams it's aromatherapy rollerball. If you guys don't know, I'm huge into apothecary aromatherapy. I love all holistic healing, and so sometimes I have a trouble, a little bit of a trouble going to sleep. This is a vegan product. Um, basically, it tells you that you need to put it on your pressure points, which is like right here behind the neck, and I want to say, I think on the chest. I threw the box away. It has lavender in it um, and some other like really relaxing, um, I want to say botanical oils. I could be wrong, this is what it looks like. Come on camera. So I went to Nike and I went to Nike clearance and I bought these sneakers. And I've been looking for like, a, I wanted a like workout shoe, so I got these, they were originally $59.99 and had a 20% off, so I got them for $51, you know, with tax and stuff. And these are called the D-Break. Um, 
I really like them. Which, okay, so this is what I'm going to say about the previous um, thing and comment I made about boots. So these are size 11. They're boots and they fit me fine. But these are size 10, I believe, or maybe even 10 and a half in men's, which would mean that they are 11 and a half or maybe even 12 and a half in women's. But... I really like them. They're super comfortable. I was going to get the ones that had like this color blue. I don't know if you guys can see that. It was blue here and then the check was gold. They were so fucking fabulous and fly. But I didn't get them just because the 10, my toe was like right there. And like I said, I like a little bit of wiggle room. I used to work at Nike and I used to tell people that all the time. Like you don't want your shoe to be tight because it's going to be uncomfortable as you walk. And as somebody who's super into like skin, hair, and nails, especially on my feet. If you wear a shoe that is too tight on your toe, you end up creating an ingrown nail because there's so much pressure like pushing it to the sides and back and when I was younger before I worked at Nike I used to make that mistake of wearing shoes that were right on the sides instead of giving myself a little bit of space so now that I'm older and a little bit more mature and learn my lessons I try to find that which was interesting because like these shoes are 11 and they fit perfectly but it just really depends on the brand so I really like these I have no idea what I'm gonna wear with them I will probably figure something out in a gray I also like TJ Maxx this is a Enzo and Golini bag so I already have my stuff in it because I traveled in it but I liked that it was like first of all it's black I love the size and I like that it's just like it has a nice strap goes crazy nice on the shoulder it's like enough space and then there's pockets in the front which I really like so I can either put my phone there if I'm like in a rush right now I have crayons in there <laughs> or I can put a swell bought water bottle in there um I wanted a bag that I could take to work that had, it was deep enough, it was work friendly. I literally have a book, my camera, two pairs of glasses, lotion. I'm going to do a what's in my bag update in, in a few. I've got a crystal in there. I've got hella lip products. I've got hand creams. I have a lot of space and then I have pockets in it because I want to join the gym soon and I need a bag that I probably wouldn't carry my sneakers in there but if I did I needed to know that like there was enough space for it and there is. Not that I'm wearing those but there literally is enough space in there if I you know treated the compartment just a little bit better um and just like made everything a little bit more like organized i'm sure that i could fit everything my wallet i got a face mask in here those are the kind of things that i want to have in a bag without it being super large i feel like this is literally the perfect size in that it's deep from the beginning all the way to the bottom what was cool is i bought this bag for 24 dollars. it was in the clearance section don't sleep on tj maxx marshall's I'm not too crazy about Ross, but I think Ross is only in Florida. Um, and maybe like the southern states. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Here in New York, we have TJ Maxx and we have Marshalls. We've got Nordstrom Rack. I prefer Nordstrom Rack, but I can never find a bag that I really like. Like, I don't need a super duper, like, glamorous um, bag for work. I kind of need something that's, like, utility slash practical. And that bag just happens to be it. I went to Morphe. There is no Morphe in New York City. They are in Long Island or New Jersey. I have been to, I want to say the New Jersey store twice and I haven't made it out to Long Island because I don't want to buy that ticket. So whenever I'm in a town, the first time I went to Morphe was last year in January when I went to LA. I bought a liner. I was obsessed with it. And then I lost it at a drunken night out and then I went to the one in Jersey bought the same liner lost it drunk so clearly this is my favorite liner there's literally only liners in here I spent I want to say 15 bucks or 14 bucks on four liners so the liners that I got are all brought nudes as you can see I'm obsessed with nudes your girl is obsessed with nudes and so the liner that I went back to get is um vibes vibes looks so good for that like ombre i want to do a video of like the best brown liners for women of color and i feel that vibes okay so one of the things i want to call out is that this isn't a lip liner this is called a colored pencil 
a color pen color pencil they're four bucks which i think is amazing and you can use your favorite like influencer trendy mood whatever um just code on it for like 10 percent off i think i saved like two bucks i feel that vibes is the perfect like reddish brown for maybe like my skin tone to a little bit deeper i'm still on like the tan side of the you know darker skin complexion but in the summertime i do a little bit deeper but i'm not deep dark i hate calling it deep dark because i feel like we are just melanin but um that is this is literally my favorite fucking nude like pencil to like give that ombre what i love about these morphe pencils is that they're so long like look at how long this is these are the days when mac was like top lip liner and it's literally product i remember the vibes when i had before i got up to here and there was so much and that's because i was wearing a nude lip literally every day i pretty much wear a nude lip every day every once in a while i'll throw in a pink or, or a red but for the most part i wear nudes all the time okay so the other one that i got is trendsetter oh toasty toasty is my favorite too so toasty is more on like the if i just want to wear something that's close to like my skin tone i wear toasty toasty is i feel a nicer brown not nice oh, maybe that's not the right way to say it. this is toasty she's on the like reddish brown and then i got trendsetter which is like on the darker brown so if you really want to bring back that 90s that 90s vibe i think trendsetter is where it's at where it's like your true 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 like actual brown I remember when Kylie came out with her lip kits. I feel like her brown K lip liner and like set was like this. And I like all of these. It just really depends what you're using in the middle because a lot of the times we women of color usually use like three or four products to create the type of nude that's sort of similar to what like olive and fair tone skin women usually do. But, um, it never really i feel like it just never usually works out what i like about these colors is i can i can work them together and then use a um another lipstick or liquid lipstick or even just a gloss and then the last one i bought is okay so we have so far vibes was the first one toasty was the second and then trendsetter was the third one i just showed you and then the last one which i'm the most excited about this because it's not even like a reddish brown i feel like it's more of a nudish brown this one's called bar the dogs are wilding, of course. Come on. Are you really gonna do this? Don't be a hoe. There we go. That one is bar. And that's one I'm the most excited because I feel like I'll really be able to like create that pout. I'm just wearing a clear top right now. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video of like my favorite nudes for women of color. My video. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and as always, I will see you next time in my next video. Soup. Soup. What?